Welcome to Leicester Medical School in the year 2020. My name's Kate Charles and I'd like to explain to you how Leicester Medical School has changed from this to this. You can decide for yourselves whether you're a potential student, a junior doctor or a medical educator, whether this future of Leicester Medical School is a future you'd be happy with. In the NHS plan of 2000, the government promised an increased number of doctors on wards. In line with this promise, extra funding was given to medical schools to increase the number of medical students. This was successful and there has been a year-on-year -year rise in the number of medical students graduating. Over time, and especially in light of the economic recession of 2008, the government was forced to admit that year-on-year -year increases in funds to the NHS could not be sustained. Thus, in real terms, cuts had to be made. The 2009 McKinsey report stated that a 10% saving could be made in the form of staff cuts, which would include the loss of doctors' jobs. Due to the still increased number of medical students graduating, the junior doctor system became flooded, having two main implications. Firstly, better working conditions for junior doctors, with an associated pay cut, and secondly, a decrease in experience gained. To stop a decline in services due to lack of experienced doctors progressing in their careers, more nurses were trained more extensively in a larger number of areas. Thus, the government would, could still, on paper, be meeting its targets and keeping patient groups happy while still saving money. As nurses' new roles became more concrete within the system, fewer doctors were required, so the government cut funding to medical schools and the number of medical graduates decreased. Medicine became a less attractive career to potential students. Word travels quickly within student or junior doctor communities. Junior doctors were unsatisfied, pay is less than it was, their role is no longer clearly outlined, and any thought of status is long gone. Subsequently, less people apply and more students leave the course before completion, perpetuating the cycle of the perceived redundancy of doctors. BDI politicians quickly detected the opportunity for further money saving, and hence alleged popularity, through complete reform of the healthcare system. Since, with minimum guidance from doctors, nurses have now, for some time, assumed the traditional task of doctors, a proposal was made to formally replace remaining doctors in the healthcare system upon their retirement with nurses graded in a more sophisticated manner, although still paid substantially less than the comparable consultant would have been. Nurses could seek advice from a private organisation should a patient not present or respond to treatment according to a known logarithm. As such, total funding has been withdrawn from all medical schools not willing to offer postgraduate education programmes to train the new breed of nurse consultants and nurse specialists. Leicester Medical School politely declined this offer after staff consultation and as a result, at the end of the last academic year, Leicester Medical School has ceased to be in existence. Staff have mainly found employment in research posts and the building itself has been demolished to make way for a car park to ease the parking problems on University Road that have plagued the university for at least two decades. So, to conclude, potential medical students. This is one potential future of medicine. So if this is a system you'd be happy to work within, come on down and apply. If not, think seriously about your career options. Medical educators. There are things that can be done now that may help you avert this potential future. Look at the syllabus, see whether there are practical clinical needs that aren't being met, and adjust your teaching in accordance. Junior doctors, medical students, there may be a bottleneck of jobs in the future. Be aware of this and stay ahead of the game. Make sure you're not someone who loses out on a job because you've not gained the experience necessary.